And we're going to keep the beer flowing here. Americans drink a lot of it, almost 6.4 billion gallons a year, according to the Beer Institute. When you think of big beer making cities, maybe someplace in Wisconsin, Colorado, or Germany comes to mind, probably not Memphis, but maybe it should. Tonight on Behind Closed Doors, I'm going to take you into one of the largest breweries in the country, here in our own backyard. We're standing in the brew house right now. This is the uh, beginning. We are deep inside the biggest brewery in Tennessee. This place is huge. Blue City Brewery is a nondescript building off Rains Road in southeast Memphis, 27 acres under the roof. We make good quality beer here, you know, it's all in the process. Jay Peters is director of brewing, what most of us would call a brewmaster. So this is all grain and this is grain and water right now. Whether it's mass production of a famous name beer or a craft brew, yes, they make those here too, the process begins the same way. We're using simple techniques that's been going on for centuries. So it starts as a pretty simple recipe. You take malt grain, add water, heat, yeast, flavors, and you got beer. But you can't buy a bottle of Blue City beer. Workers here make suds for other companies, so it all has to taste different. You're a man with pretty highly developed taste. I would say that. That's one of the reasons LaPrice Washington is in charge of tweaking flavors. He got hooked on beer making as part of a microbiology class at the University of Memphis. How much of this is art and how much of it is science? I think it's a nice blend of it. He's kind of a malt mixologist. When a can leaves here, you feel like there's a little of you in that? Always. This is coming out of Memphis facility, the Blue City Brewery. And a little bit of LaPrice in every bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can take that. Did I mention this place is big? Hundreds of giant refrigerated tanks can hold more than 7 million gallons of beer for different customers. One of the canning and bottle lines here can produce 13,000 cases of beer in an eight-hour shift. It's great for us. Keep drinking it. We'll make some more. During our visit, the brewery was making Mike's Hard Lemonade. We make a laundry list of uh, products, but I, I can't tell you who they are. Plant manager Tom Brulette says some of those brands are sensitive about where drinkers think their beer is made. So Blue City is... It's the biggest brewery you never heard of. But now you have. Little known fact, even following the same recipes, a beer made in Milwaukee may taste different than the same beer made in Memphis. It has to do with environmental differences like humidity and water and we know we have great water here so beer made in Memphis has to taste better for sure if there's some place you'd like us to go behind closed doors just let me know leave suggestions on our Facebook page local Memphis or email me at doors at localmemphis.com and I will try to open some of them for you